Even Tonys and Oscars and Emmys and Grammys. There's no red carpet because they're home in their jammies. From Melrose Place to Broadway to Janeway and her crew. Let Seth and James bring all the stars to you. Anywho. They're entertaining everyone, so who's gonna grouse? Just sit right back and you'll hear some tales on Star. Sorry. Wait it's a minute. Okay, fault. Seth. Okay, hold on. You got to tell everyone one of your one of your pet peeves of, of mine. James always feels like a microphone is constantly going to be on, so he mutes everything, even when there's no possible chance of it being on. But just lately, I've gotten out of the same paranoia. It's rubbed off on me. And right before the show, I just wanted to tell James that we went live, so I muted it. And I was like, "We're live," because he was in the other room, and I didn't unmute. I didn't. You know what it is? What's weird? Because when we show the ending credits. Um, what's the difference between when we show the ending credits and when, at the beginning and when we're not? I, I have no idea. David, can you explain that? So, David, at the very beginning. <laughs> okay, now uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> My mouse died as you brought me on screen. What were you asking? You. So at the very beginning of the show, when we just go live and we're off and just the image is up and our mic is not muted, we right. can't be heard? Nope. But how come at the end, when the video is showing and I'm playing the piano, we could be heard? Because you're still you're you're because that, that video doesn't have that video doesn't have any audio on it, so it, it's totally and silent. We're on screen there. And we're on screen, right? And you're on screen, right? Exactly. So then oh. we play the opening, and it has music, and you're on screen. So that's oh. the difference. It's just paranoia, but you can't actually be heard. Well, now I'm not going to be paranoid anymore. You know, a lot of times I'm like, you know, I hate half the guests, and I say a lot of mean things. But I'm not going to worry. Well, now that we took three Gavin. minutes to talk about this, people are riveted, and yeah, I'm not going to comment on Gavin's crazy headphones. Gavin, I don't know what you're wearing, but I have All a lot right. of com what's happening headphone wise. Nope. Bye bye. Okay, and on that note, he's, wear he's wearing headphones. That's his hair, isn't it? That looks like white headphones. That's your hair, That's Gavin. His hair, Gavin. What is that? You're on mute, so right I, back at you. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I'm James Wesley. This is my husband, <laughs> Seth Rudetsky, and this is Stars in the House that I believe probably most of you have known that we began in March of 2020, last yeah. year, when everything shut down, and we do it for the Actors Fund, which we love. Oh. And the Actors Fund, okay, so you know we talk about the Actors Fund all the time. Okay, Seth's going to get the dog. Okay, Seth. Needs, so the dog needs something. So I'm going to take over here. Oh, it's her ball, of course. You can't see because of yeah. There we go. There's Mandy. She got her ball. Well, there you go. Everyone saw her, right. saw her ball. Sorry about that. Um, of course, the the Actors Fund gives financial assistance to people who need it, but they also have amazing workshops. And one of them is coming up. This is for for people in New York, and they're so, free. You just have to register, but they're free. Of course, we're always saying that the Actors Fund, and it is, is for everyone around the country. But there are sometimes special um, workshops, and this one happens to be how to apply for New York State Emergency Rental Assistance. Oh, bye -bye. So I'm going to read this today. Um, the New York State Emergency Rental Assistance Program helps households that are behind on their rent and that have experienced financial hardship due to COVID-19. Applications are now open, and this free Actors Fund online workshop will help explain how this program works, who is eligible, how to calculate your income, what the program benefits are, and what documents are needed to apply. Learn more, and there you go, at actorsfund.org slash workshops. Um, so that's how you can take advantage of the Actors right. Fund. But they'll also literally help you if you're having financial problems with your rent, with your medical bills, with your food, and plenty, I mean, plenty of people in just the regular world do because artists have really inconsistent incomes. But then you add the pandemic, it's been brutal right. ever since March 2020. That's why we've been raising money consistently because of people like you, but seriously, because of people like you. Right. And we are up to, are we allowed to announce how much yes, we so far? Yes, we, we just passed the $955,000 mark. And so that's, Amazing. And, you know, our goal is to reach a million dollars by the end of the month and the amazing shows that were announced officially. So, of course, of course tomorrow we have Kristen Chenoweth's um, Broadway boot camp. Yeah, so Kristen's going to be here with Kristen's her, gonna be here boot some her kids from Oklahoma. Um, and then the next two nights in a row have a twenty five hundred dollar match from the Angie Torres Charitable Fund, which we love. For Light in the Piazza and your, yeah, Piazza your Dream with, Girls. Yeah, with all those great people. And then yes. Saturday is the Dream Girls concert for the Actors Fund. And then next week we have Brenda Brax. Brax is in it. So Light yeah, in the, go ahead. So yeah, Light in the Piazza is Michael Perez and Kelly O'Hara and Matt Morrison and Vicki Clark. 
at this point. I think oh and oh and um and Patty Cohen hour. And then Saturday for the Dream Girls concert, it is uh Heather Headley and Lilius White. Audra McDonald. Uh, Darius Brenda Haas, Braxton, Brenda Darius DeHaas. And Brenda Braxton is going to be your guest hosting next Tuesday. And then what we just got announced today is on when a week from today, we are having a Guys and Dolls reunion yes, with have Nathan Lane. Robert Alda, Isabel Bigley. Just kidding. That's from 1950. No, it is going to be Nathan Lane. Faith uh, Prince, Peter yeah. Gallagher. Who else? Uh, Jesse Guzman. That's and right. Walter Bobby. And, and, um, and Jerry Zachs. And we're going to be doing that. It's going to be a first for us. We're going to be doing it from a hotel sponsor. So we'll be doing it, we'll be doing it from the hotel room. That sounds so weird, but we are. No, they're, they're doing it's, a big match. That's right. They're doing a $10,000 matching donation. And that's from the NH Hotel Collection. Cannot wait. And then, of course, and then the next day, I think we're going to have Black Theater United that's going to be here um, because it's been a year since they formed can't believe it's been a year. And then the next day, Seth. Then we have a Broadway reunion of Hedvig with Lena Hall and Neil Patrick Harris. So that's, that's going to be on Friday, but really Saturday because Neil's in Australia. Wink, wink. So it's Friday night, but Neil's doing it Saturday morning. And yet that has another match. That's from the Paula Kaminsky wow. Davis Charitable Foundation up to $7,500. So we got to get to a million. But by the way, tonight, maybe we can get to a million. So why don't you get those donations coming tonight so we can actually get the hell up there tonight? Because it's game night with four of the hilarious stars of Hello, Dolly, and our moderatress, Jack Plotnick. Any other business we have to do? I think that's it. Okay. Um, let me bring on Mandy Lou. Oh, let me bring on <laughs> the cast. First, let me welcome the man with the headphones or with uh, a blonde fall. I can't tell what it is. Gavin? It's like a hat with the, with the hair attached to it. But it's actually my <laughs> I literally thought Hi, it was guys. headphones. Hi, Gavin. Hi, Gabby. Hi. Why, is such, a, nice why is such a devastating background? Why can't we turn the lights on in the back of us? I guess I could. I don't have any. Um, Alexa. No, I can't actually do that. I'm not with that. Just All ask right, Patty I'll... Murin to come over and turn them on. Patty. Yeah, there, there needs to be a reversal of when he went over there, Gavin. That that is that remains one of the most fun moments of the show was your <laughs> Wi-Fi going out and you showing up at their place. It was surreal. That it was surreal. Funny. It was great. I'm in New York, actually. I'm in I'm in the city today, so I can't go to the oh, house. So you... Oh, then they can F this, they won't be making this, it this right here, just a little yes. FYI with my opening night present from Bette Midler for Hello Dolly. Is that a skull? She, she, yes, it's a skull vase. And she grew the onion in her garden. And her husband, who's an art, a fine, you know, he's like a performance artist and a fine artist, he took the picture. And it was at the end of her dressing hallway at, in a much smaller version. And I love this paint, this piece of art, this photograph. And on opening night in a big red tube, it was like, love bet, happy opening. And it was like a huge book. Oh, it's so appropriate so for tonight. It's like a poster that's like just a long, yes. narrow. Yes. Is that what it is? Cute. Oh my God. Oh, now I see. That's so cool. It's so yeah. uh, essence of Halloween, as we say, her big fundraiser. Totally. totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me now bring up your Hello Dolly wife who organized the whole evening. Please welcome yes. Ms. Kate Baldwin. Hi, Hi Kate. Nice Hi, Katie. to see you. Thank you for having us. Great to see you again. How fun. You were on for. Um, you were a surprise guest for Cheyenne. Is that the last time you were on? I was, yeah. Was that, that was yesterday or was it a year ago? I can't remember. I don't I, know. You know what? We what we time? literally will say who was on last night. We can't remember. Like when it goes, <laughs> you still got it. And I love that your camera's from above. It's very Faith Prince. Faith is always I like, know, weird, right? I was trying to, I know. I was trying to get it. I don't know. I'm looking it's, at you, even though it doesn't look I'm looking at you. Hi, Kevin. Hi, yes, babe. I'm looking at both of you. All of you. All three of you. Uh, I let love me welcome that poster so much. You think we'll poster? I'm gonna welcome Gavin oh, your sidekick. Wait, what? Oh, she's got a she's got something. This is mine from Bernadette. Oh my god. Oh can you see her name, you see her name right here, Bernadette Peters? This was her sheet music for ribbons down my back. She framed it and gave it to me. Isn't that oh. amazing? Oh That's my god, she really handwriting right there. I she love her released so much. it like as a single. Like, why did she have music for it? She had it because I think she bought it in 1965 when the show came out, and like, oh, added, I like see. at least that's wow. the story I've made up in my mind that she's that no, she, it's like, true. It's true. She said because she remember she said um, this was I'm sorry my name is on it, but it was my when I was a kid. This was my personal, and we were like, 
like, like basically autographed before she was Bernadette Peters. <laughs> wow. Amazing. An opening night present. I have nothing to show that's interesting. Um, all right, Gavin, let me welcome your sidekick in the in the workers, wherever the hell you worked in the haberdashery. Whatever. No, what the hell was it? Dan the Gale is having feed, baby. Yeah, here he is. He was your sidekick, Mr. Taylor Trench. Hi, Taylor. I just want to say that my opening night gift from Bet was an envelope filled with anthrax. So this is tough for me to kind of see these really special gifts. Did you open it? I did, and I was out of the show for months. Yeah, afterwards. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's cool. It's all good. Um, and finally, let me welcome your Hello Dolly wife, Miss <laughs> Beanie Feltz Einerstein. Hi, Beanie. Beanie. Hi, Beanie. Hi, um, What was your? Well, hold on. We have yeah, to ask. What was your, opening what was your night favorite gift? opening night gift you got for Hello Dolly? It doesn't have to be from Bette Midler. Just your favorite one. But it was from Bette Midler. Oh. <laughs> um, it was a Tiffany locket. Yeah. I really liked it in the show when she got me one for myself. I love how they're all so different, so specific. Yeah. Sorry, Taylor. That's okay. <laughs> uh, and finally, our moderatress of the night. He will be on mute for the whole time, but he'll be here mugging. Please welcome Mr. Jack Plotnick. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Hi, Jackie. That's called the yes and, and I love it. I'm wondering if your audience notices something different about me. Is it a new computer? Less smudge? No smudge? Much less smudge. My computer broke this morning and living it like this is the moment when I plugged this new computer in and sat down. It's been a mad dash to get a new computer so I could be here with you all tonight. But no smudge. Wow. Oh, he's had a smudge screen for you. Wait, Jack, you tell me your quote-unquote mouse pad broke this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's not a mouse pad. It's part of the computer. <laughs> it's called a trackpad. Okay. Trackpad. But wait, okay. that's what broke and you needed a new one? My, like, my trackpad broke, but I thought it was called a mouse pad. You are right. But you, you got a brand new computer? What else am I going to do? But you're notoriously cheap. Is it used? Go. Let me hear. <laughs> I found it on the street. I, You know, I'm having a lot of regret. I bought a computer about this big, uh, and now I'm worried I bought a, too small of a computer. So I'm going to let it go and just trust. Okay, I don't buy that. Okay, you're not letting anything go. You're devastated. Okay, please, let's start the game. Jack, why don't you explain how the game works since you're the puppet master? Well, it's a game where you guess words. <laughs> okay, so I'll Maybe explain. Kate Baldwin. <laughs> Wait, Kate hasn't played. Well, I, everybody I, sent me in words, and okay. you guys, it, it's in three rounds, but the first round, you guys can say anything to try to get your teammates to guess the word or words. It could be a phrase, it could be a title, it could be anything that begins with the letter H. So uh, in the first round, you can say anything, right? But you, uh, yeah, and you get one pass. Yeah, you just can't say you can't say it rhymes with schmello schmally. Like you have to like you know you can't do that. But you could do anything you want. And then but you can't tune out when it, like like when I'm on stage and I'm not listening to anybody. You can't do that. You've got to listen to both teams because all those words are gonna go back in for round two. And then you only get one word to give a clue. So you have to do a callback. Okay, that's right. And and we realized that we go ahead. We uh, we made the mistake because of uh, making it the letter H. It's because it's Hello Dolly and Jerry Herman, but we just had H two weeks ago. So those of uh, those of you uh, viewers that are regular viewers, forgive us that it's the same letter. I think we all yeah. came up with different not, words. But they're all different words. They're all different words. Unless someone put in Hermione Gingle, we'll find out. Maybe it's the same, <laughs> word, same letter as last time. And, and before then, we start, we have to tell well, people to say, donate. The third round is old school charades. Okay. We want to tell everyone, of course, go to stars. If you can give, go to starsinthehouse.com or text FUN2020 to 56512. You see that on the screen. You'll get a receipt from the Actors Fund. You'll forward that receipt. If you want to write a message for, for Gavin or Taylor or Beanie or Kate to, to or Jack to read aloud, um, and you'll send it to donations at starsinthehouse.com. I want to say I finally got to play this game and, and I've watched people play it a million times and still I forgot to listen to the other team's words like <laughs> so make, make sure you're because you're useless if you don't listen to the uh, all the words that are guessed. 100%. Not um, useless. Have... You guys are amazing, amazing performers and you always will be. <laughs> oh. I'm going to take you off screen, Jack. Um, okay, so <laughs> you did it for me. It's a new computer. <laughs> 
Um, okay, Let's so we start. have we have four boys and we have two women. I guess we should do it in terms of couples on Broadway. So we should do Gavin and Kate, and we should do Jeannie and Taylor. <laughs> I was like, what do you? What are you Gavin saying? and Taylor, <laughs> and, <laughs> and BB. And, exactly. and Seth, I'll be with Gavin and Kate, and you. How about you with Beanie and Taylor? Because how bad? Be... That's the only other option. Well, no, it could, option. Be, it could be vice versa. I just have to tell. Can we? Can we just tell the people watching if there anybody's watching? I don't know. But this is not our first game. We yeah. every night for fifteen minutes behind that curtain in, in the second act, we played hardcore cards every single night. Even if we were, well, some nights we did pantomime. Remember we do slow pantomime where we would do like very deep. I, Taylor and I would do slow pantomime. The girls would be like, yes, you're making sushi. Okay. <laughs> we would do like sometimes making cookies and it would be so drawn out. It would be so much fun. But we most of the time. It was usually food. Yeah. Yeah. yeah usually food. But it was yeah. always, we played, we had a little Ziploc bag. Somebody still has it. I might still have it. I don't know. Oh, but it, really? it's Ziploc bag. We put Velcro on it and there was Velcro underneath the table. There was a pen, there was a scorecard and there was a, a thing of cards. And sometimes we would be like stretching and finishing playing like, don't go, we could do water. And Beanie's like, I'm having a meltdown. I can't stop. We have to get on stage. And we would throw them under the thing. The curtain would open when we dance on them. Only a couple times the cards went everywhere. We were like, oh. <laughs> but hold on, let me ask you something. Was this when you were in the restaurant behind the yes. table? Yes. yes. Yeah. So this and was then we were singing Hello Dolly. That's what I thought it was during the actual show, during act two. Yeah. 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 That the audience to... is going nuts, screaming at whoever's playing Dolly, and we're back there going, oh, hush. I can't hear the bets. We play, we play, we play. Like, Stop yelling. Yeah. <laughs> Kate has a real problem with whispering. She doesn't actually know how to whisper. She'd be sitting there and she'd be like, what are you talking about? I'm whispering. And you're like, no, 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 no. That's not that's not even a stage whisper. That's like a husky scream. <laughs> no one could hear it. We were really no, hard. she's like, I'm sorry, I can't help this belt. It's too pingy. <laughs> Let me ask you, were there any prizes or just good placement in the mask? Yeah, and glory, right? I can't even tell you who won. We kept score, but I can't even tell you who won. Like that wasn't part of it. Hey, we lost. Let's be honest. We lost. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know who won. We lost bad. We were, we were, we were, yeah. you, were you were so nice to me every time I'd blow it. Yes, thank oh you. Too. That's very so. nice of you. But what worried me the most was that those pods, you know, the little curtain banquettes that we were in, at the end of the night would get um hooked up to a giant chain and and lifted into the air. I had nightmares of the cards falling out and not just like, like all over, like in yeah. like fluttering through the. During act one, like during dancing, just raining yeah. cards. Yeah. And we, and the, if we were all four on stage together, we'd just be like, I don't know what that is. Like, what is <laughs> no idea. I don't know what that is. Unprofessional. <laughs> Terrible people. Um, we're ready. We're ready. Okay. So I guess maybe team Gavin, Kate, and James can be. The hellos and me, Beanie, uh -huh. and Taylor can be the dollies. All right. Yes. Yes. Beanie. With the exclamation point. Uh -oh. Absolutely. Oh, uh -oh. you get the exclamation point and hmm. the comma. So we're comma dolly <laughs> exclamation point. Comma dollies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, well, Gavin, um, you want you want to start? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. for everybody to know, don't go into the private chat unless you're actually giving clues. Stay in the comments. And also, don't really read the comments because a lot of times people will be guessing, and then it'll, it's called cheating. So basically, focus straight ahead. Okay, I'm gonna time you. Oh, off. I wish I had a hat. Yeah, yeah. Pudding. And you pudding. 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 Um, just on a side pudding. Just on a side note. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> you guys. We're ready. Guys, We're ready for you, boys. Matt, you sure are. Listen, you're supposed to send donations to stars in the house, donations at stars in the house.com, but someone sent it to the other website and I just got one. So I thought I would just say, Oh, Erin just donated and she wrote, This is in honor of the amazing Gavin Creel. Amazing in everything he does, but he will forever be glued to me. His voice, <laughs> his voice fills my soul. So that's, we got, we started off the night very well. So keep uh, those donations coming. Okay, yeah, Gavin, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to time you all, go to the private chat. Jackie. Um You'll know that it's your first word because it'll be right under the line at the bottom. So just go to the bottom. Okay, is everybody ready? Gavin, you ready? We we don't guess. Dolly does not guess. Well, hello. No, no. The, the but you team, listen. The good team doesn't guess. Okay, on your mark, get set, <laughs> go. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da I'm the window. 
Yes. Okay, the Queen. She was in, she was the the lead, won an Oscar for the Queen the movie. Oh, Helen Mirren. Yes. Ooh. Um. This is the most basic font on on a computer. Helena. Yes. Oh. She, uh. Uh. Loretta Swift played this in Mash. That was her character's name. Yes. But Hot last lips. name too. Hot last lips. name too. Her, what was the last name? Not Hooligan. Um, yes, that was it. That was it. All oh, it three is? together. Okay. okay. Blank two O. What is the H of blank two O? Hydrogen. 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 Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, this is like an old musical about the stock market. You can pass. How now, Dow Jones? Oh my yes. God. Thank you, Queen. Yes, Queen. Okay. Uh, this is the, the, maybe the no. It's not the capital of the biggest state. Houston, Texas. Texas. Yes. Houston, Texas. Uh, uh, maybe this is the capital of a country. Mm, can I... You can pass one. Please. Iceland, 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 Iceland. Time. Oh, oh Thank shit. You. That was good, Gab. That was oh, really was good, Gab. Is it Iceland? Very we good. missed it. However, it's not Iceland. Iceland. It's not, it's not. I, don't I think know. James wasn't exactly right with Hot Lips, but we'll let it pass. But as far as I remember, it's Hot Lips. What did you say it was? I said Hooligan, but that's It's not... Hulahan, oh, right? I knew it. Oh, oh. I thought it was, sorry. But it's I fine. I said it. Close we'll accept enough. that. We'll accept. Jack, you have right. no faith in Gavin Creel's Broadway knowledge. Gavin, you can pass. How now, Dow Jones? <laughs> I've never heard of it. Actually, James, you guessed it, right? Yes, I did. Hold on. David got locked out. I got to send him. Okay. I got a BFA in musical theater. Never heard of that show. How did that I, don't know where, I don't know where that city nice. is. So clearly. Is that not Dean Jones? Was, that, was he? No, it's Tony Roberts. Oh, Tony Roberts. And, and Brenda Vaccaro. Did you know How Not Dow Jones? Was that your audition song? That was I used that audition song. That was my audition song. It's a great song, Gawk, Tousle, and Shucks. Who would have thought the key to success would be Gawk, Tousle, and Shucks? It's amazing. Okay, hold, please. I got. Sorry, David Katz got locked out. I've got to let him in. Hold on a second. He got locked out. I think you should go first. Me? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm almost ready. Uh, Tell us about your hat. Tell us about your hat, Dean. This hat? It's, it's reversible. Very, um, Mayim Yes. Why, why not? <gasps> I knew it. Oh. Cute. <clears throat> All right. Cute. Team Dolly, we're going to focus. Less fashion, more guessing. <laughs> um, Taylor, you giving clues, you said? Sure. I think okay, so. I'm, I'm going to time y'all. Here we go. Wait, you're Three. on our uh, It's me. Just me and you guessing, Beans. Okay. Three. Two, one, go. It's the capital of Finland. Ah. Oh. 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 The first word is the op or the first syllable is the opposite of heaven. Okay. Hel Hel Helena. Uh, no, and then the second syllable is what you'd wash your hands in. Helsinki. Helsinki. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, okay, and then Elizabeth Moss stars in this show on Hulu. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, this is an actress who was in Mad About You in the 90s. Helen uh, Mirren. No, 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 sorry. Um, Helen Hunt. Got it. Uh, this, is the, this is the streaming service that um, Handmaid's Hulu. on. Yep. Uh, this is what comes down from the sky. It's icy oh, rain. Yeah. Uh, this is a song that I think is from Finian's Rainbow that Kate was just talking about seconds ago. Nakamura. Got it. Uh, this is a mountain range, a uh, very famous mountain range. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is a song by, I'm forgetting, maybe the Go Go's. Um, da, oh, wait, no, that's the wrong metal melody. Uh, <laughs> Opposite of hell is heaven. Uh -huh. heaven and, uh, no, the planet and we live time. on is time. But wait, Kelly, you only sang one note and you said it was wrong. You're like, ha. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Taylor, the starting pitch. Taylor, I'm the one who put in that, and and you actually were on the right pitch. Oh wow! You, you only got one note, but you you there was Thank the perfect you. pitch for that. Thank uh, you. Your Helsinki clue was perfect. It's oh, that was so oh. excellent. I was not focusing that team, but that was really, really good. Sorry, I wasn't thinking of something else. But that was really, really good. Um, so in conclusion, I guess we won. Okay, back to the other team. Hey, uh, I have no idea. Is Julia Payne? Um, yeah. Um, Kate, do you want to go, or do you want me to go yeah. next? I'll go. Good, go. So I got a um, private Yes, ma'am. And is this the one word round, or can I say no, anything? No, 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 no. We haven't gotten through all the words we yet. Finished. We're waiting, by the way. I don't think Julia, Julia, have you she been? Did, she did hellos, which was seven. This was, by the way, this was team one. Did we look at these yet? So this well, was last team. How much did I talk in the window? Helen Mirren, Helvetica, the H name. Oh, from MASH. Oh, oh hot oh, lips, hot hula, lips hula, hula, hula hand. Hydrogen? Yeah, because he's. Hannah Jones, Houston, Texas. Very good. Hold on, the dogs are going crazy. Sure. 
And then so, this is our team. Helsinki oh, tied up, tail. baby. Tied up. Whoa. I just got to say, Taylor, you give me I see. I see. Oh, wait, like we, didn't the H, we didn't get the H song. You passed it, I think. Oh, then we won't say what it is. Right? Himalayan Mountains. We didn't get it, did we, Beanie? He started singing and yeah. we cut off. No, no. How are things in Nakamura? Yeah, how are, you're right. You're right. How are things in Nakamura? Okay. So okay. seven, seven. All right. All right, Kate. And Jack, no matter what, you always get this. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. Can't help it. Okay. Do I do I start with the song that Taylor was starting to said sung the wrong note of? Do I start with that song? Underneath the line. The song underneath the below the line. Below the line. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ready? Yeah, and Kate, you can whisper whisper all your clues. Yeah. Okay. We're still, we're still okay. here. Right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> on, your, on your mark, yeah. get set, go. Okay, he's MC, and you can't touch this. Uh, MC Hammer. Hammer. Yeah. Hammer time. Uh, Belinda Carlisle. Ooh, mm, is heaven, 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 heaven is the place on earth. earth. Uh huh. This is a little fuzzy pet who's not turtle. Hamster. Yes. Hamster. Um, Mrs. Malloy hates hats. Is pointing okay? This was a Broadway musical. Um, Trey Anastasio wrote it and Amanda Green. It was about touching a car. Hands on a hard body. Yes. Um, she is not a cat, she's a person, but you'd never know. She doesn't have a mouth. She loves apple pie. Why do I know all these things? She's Japanese. She's never passed. Yeah, my okay. name. <laughs> what's the first word? Kate, what's the first word? It's the first word in the same name of our musical. Like, Hello, Kate. Kate. Hello Kitty. That's right. This is a little dog with long stringy hair. Um, 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 there's a city in Cuba that kind of sounds like it. Havana? Havana? Yeah, and the dog would be a... And time. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. You better know. I remember Hello Kitty. Jeannie and Taylor, I apologize for helping the other team. I couldn't resist. So no, fine. Well, well. The well, thing on Hello Kitty was really... <laughs> It was so specific. It I was, was so long. thrown. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, it's I, a right. cartoon character. And you had way too many details. I know, Kate, uh, Kate, what's in your closet? That's what <laughs> I want to know. So, do you know Al Silver? She's obsessed with Hello Kitty. And we send each other funny pictures of where we find Hello Kitty all over the world tattoos, cakes, cars, you name it. And so, I had a lot. Watches, yes. So, um, <laughs> So we, I know a lot more about Hello Kitty than a, a forty-six-year-old woman really should. But you know, <laughs> there we go. Okay. There we are. Um, <laughs> Gavin has an issue. Well, you want to, let's wait on the donation, Seth, because Dr. Lapook is going to be on in a minute. So let's, but let's get another round in. Okay. Pudding. So how about your team, Hello, uh, the Dolly <laughs> team? Oh, oh my gosh, Seth, Seth. What is happening? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Jack, they're oh. outdoing you with costume changes. <laughs> You guys, this is so cute. We've never had this a, is adorable. Never had such an oh organized. Gosh. Wow, I'm super impressed. Right. Okay, hold on. Is All this right. round of hats have a theme, or is it just arbitrary? Do are we supposed to figure out the theme? Holidays? <laughs> no, uh, Kate's is definitely spring. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor is giving me like high dye realness or something. High dye. He's taking us to the beach, and I'm saying that. We should also give a shout out to Molly Griggs and Charlie Stemp, who are also part of the, like, these are the OGs right here, but we have two loves yeah. also that we love our pals with and everything. So we shout yeah. out to them too. And Christian uh, yeah. White and Santino Fontana. Dante White, yes. yes. And and Christian and Santino and, and Leslie Flesner and, and, uh, and, and Charles, Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> Charles Nelson <laughs> Riley, yeah. Um, all right, who wants to give Beanie, me or you? Up to you. Well, who went last then? Just me and Nathan me. Madden. Nathan Madden. Means you're frozen. I'm going to say this. You're going to go because it's your first time playing this game. You should okay. You should learn. Okay. You got this, Beanie. Okay, so okay. wait. Where under do the, I start? Under Scroll the down. Underneath the line. Right, but didn't we do that one already? I thought no one got it. Oh, okay, okay. No one got it. Got it, got it. Okay, on your mark. And also, we'll see. On your mark, <laughs> get set, go. I'm a little dog, but I'm not a Shih Tzu, and I kind of. Oh, have an ease. And if, if you're having trouble with your tushy, something. Like hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. It's a crunchy bar, and oh, sorry. Heath bar. Yeah. 
I'm I'm actually a seed, but people think that I'm something else, and I'm kind of like a macadamia, but hemp? I'm not. Oh wait, hemp oh. seed? No, oh, hey, I'm, hazelnut. Yes, um, I'm eating uh something like this with a bun. Ham sandwich, hamburger. Yep. Something. Uh, like I think just means like all the craziness, the chaos. Hoopla. Yes. Hoopla. <laughs> Um, I'm a president and I have a nickname and I'm incredibly truthful. A a Honest Abe. Yes. Um, uh, skipping. Uh, I played the villain in Harry Potter. I'm in all the Timber. Helena Bonham Carter. Yes. Um, this is when your breath is very smelly. Halitosis. Yes. Um, uh, you're doing a reunion with Neil Patrick Harris for Time. this. Time. So close. Bro, wait a minute. Oh. I I love the way that Beanie that you give clues. For most of them, it was like you are the thing. You're an actress. It's like you are it. I, I thought you were gonna say for halitosis, like I am in I am in a mouth. I, I am a, you know, it's coming out. I don't know what. But I got nervous. Funny. I don't know. I don't even know what he's good. But okay. Beanie, I would so appreciate like I'm the flavor of coffee and Nutella instead of people think I am a nut, but I'm not. But I was like, I don't know if I think it is. Maybe I don't know the de the scientific details. I, I love thought, that clue. I just thought of the episode of Friends where they talk about how hazelnuts aren't nuts or seeds. It was the first thing. That also, also, about. Beanie is Beanie is very aware of making sure everyone is represented exactly the way they want to be represented. She's like, I am sorry, he has been called a nut for all these years. He is a seed. We will respect him being a seed. And he's not a him, he's a them. I don't know. Thank also, you. Trouble, trouble with your tushy, I think was one of the clues. <laughs> oh, nine. I was like, I was like how do you say that on the internet? Trouble with your tushy. So we got the hav is Havanese hemorrhoids. Now Heath Bar, are we counting Heath Bar? Should we yeah, ask no, that? Yes, you get it. All right, well, you helped you, you help us with hello. Okay, sure. You helped us with hello. Hazelnut hamburger. Hoopla, honest Abe. I knew that because I put it in. Helena Bonham Carter, I would have said Mrs. Lovett in the Sweeney Todd film, but I don't know Harry Potter, but brava. Halitosis, excellent. Wow, it's really good. All right, Very so good. I think we should take our medical break. Okay, we're going to take our medical break. Four more words. Just oh, say four more words. Okay, so let's, why don't we let the hello team get these four words, and then we'll take our break. And then what are we going to do if we get them? Um, hopefully, we'll Watch get them. Watch the time. We'll stop the time. Okay. Right? So you're going to do that? I'll stop the time. Okay. So I'm going to go. Okay, when you clowns, you're ready. All right, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I'm not ready yet. Come okay. on, Jason. You can do that. I believe in you. All right. Come, uh, on, Jay Come on, Jace. Oh, on your mark. Never, never not never, funny. On your mark, never. it's said, go. Uh, it's a musical uh, written by John Cameron Mitchell. Hedwig oh, and the Angry Inch. Oh, we had this before. The, the, it's, that was like a, not an uh, American typewriter, but it's, a, it's in like a. Hello, better go. Yeah, I better go. Um, oh, um, it's um, not your liver, but your. Hernia. It's okay. Huh? Hernia? Uh, no, no, it's 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 uh, well, I knew what you were doing. It's it's in here. Heart. It's like it's your heart. Yeah, it's and it's, heart it's, it's heartbreak. But what happens when it? It's it's like heart the burn. second part heart of burn. the word heart, burn. and then and not. It's oh, heart it's when it's someone it, it, it's heart when attack. someone ends a relationship. Heartbreak and heartbroken heartbroken. And heartbroken. Uh, no, the the heartbreak. person, heartbreak. the one who does it, and it's the plural. Heartbreakers. Yeah, and then actually, Gavin, you already said it. Not Hernia. the heart, but the, yeah. Okay, that's it. Well, guess what? That, that was, was it. <laughs> Sorry. That's I'm okay. making this face because I, whoever put this word in wrote a description of what Heartbreakers was because they figured James wouldn't maybe wouldn't know. And James, you could have just said, it's the film starring Sigourney Weaver and Jennifer Love Hewitt. I didn't know that. So that's that actually is what threw me because I thought, oh my gosh, I can't say the film or the font. Like I was... Because I, I didn't know, want to take parentheses, and Helvetica was that's just up there. Well, that's hilarious. so I was thrown that it was like, you know, that yeah, we guessed that twice. That that was Helvetica was done before, but we got parentheses four. is to help the person. It, it ends up hindering <laughs> for me at least because it threw me. Um, I didn't did, know that. <clears throat> I think you did well though. Uh, you know, only four, but I'm sorry, Gavin. Sorry, you did Kate. Great, you did so great. That was yeah. so much fun. Was it? it hellos? <laughs> hellos? Oh, team hellos. Hedwig, Helvetica, Heartbreakers, Hernia. Okay, so what are we doing donations right now? We, no, we're gonna take we're, we're gonna take our medical break right now. Okay, we'll see you clowns soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Heartbreaker, love taker. 
Bye, Kate. Oh, oh sorry, Kate. Get the hell off the screen. Stop upstaging us. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Dr. Uh, LaPook. I, I didn't realize it was hat night, but I, I ran out and uh, got my fedora that I just got last weekend in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, the tropical island. Looking great. Well, and that's actually very appropriate for when we do Guys and Dolls next week with Nathan and Faith and everyone. What's happening at the Rock? What's playing at the Roxy? Get that's it right. Get it ready. Um. And last weekend, I was in Puerto Rico for the premiere of the Rita Moreno documentary, which is spectacular. Every single person watching this should go out and see it. And full disclosure, my father-in-law was an executive producer of it. But even had he not been, I would have still recommended it. It's it is an amazing, astonishing uh, American story. I mean, it really is a story of uh, – she, she's she's unbelievable. She's and I would say that we were going on the streets of old San Juan. Her her grand her grandson and me and her she had a hat on, she had a mask on, and so this much of her face was visible, and everybody stopped her. Wow. That's fame. That wow. is famous man. So so Dr. Pook, we have to talk about this Delta variant because yeah. it's a it's a little bit uh scary. nerve wracking. Yeah, yeah nerve wracking. Not- um, yeah, you know, so they, they correctly, I think it's a smart thing to start naming them, you know, the Greek letters rather than it came from here or it came from yeah. there. Because there's been a lot of bias against places where it comes from. So right. let's, not, let's not put a stamp on, on the country. Delta originated uh, in India, but we're calling it Delta. And it's quickly spreading. Um, in, the, in the United States, I think it's around 6% in the United States, but it's quite contagious and um, infectious. And uh, Tony Fauci is worried about the fact that we're slowing down our immunizations here. And the, the, the vaccines are effective against it, but we've got to get people vaccinated because remember, the people who aren't vaccinated, if you have a variant that's more contagious or perhaps more deadly, that's not, they're not protected. It's just right. going to spread more quickly in them. So we're going to see a rise in cases again unless we pick up the uh, vaccination rate for people. So really, anybody – I had a conversation today with somebody who um, used to be a colleague of mine, and uh, he had not yet gotten the vaccine. And I said, why? I can be more interesting, Seth. Uh, um, I know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm annoyed. I mean, that's- no, um, he said uh, – I said, "What's? Tell me exactly why you're not taking." He said, "You know, it hasn't been tested enough yet. Come on, these twenty vaccines, years. These well, twenty years to develop it. But now you could make that argument in the fall. Seventy-four thousand people got the phase three. You know, in the phase three trials for Moderna and Pfizer. Maybe there's a one in a million side effect that we're not going to see. And now hundreds of millions of people literally have gotten vaccinated, and you know, it's still safe and astonishingly effective. So." Um, please, everybody out there, get it. I mean, I guess for I, I was looking at the um, the protocols since for the Bruce Springsteen on Broadway because that'll that will be the first show on Broadway. And what was interesting is we haven't spoken to anyone at the Jew Jamsons, but you know everyone will have to be vaccinated when they enter. But the theater has not decided yet whether people are going to be required to wear masks or not. You know, and that's that's I guess that's the part of me that's like if it's if everyone in there is vaccinated, but the Delta variant, there's the the there's an 88 percent chance that you won't get it. That means there's still a 12 percent chance that you'll get it. It's like if you don't wear mask and you're in a I know they have the new filters and all of that. How does that doesn't that mean someone will get it? I mean, there, the chances go up if you're in a space with 1500 people and there's no social distancing. That's the part I can't get my head around. Yeah, I think we're still all trying to get our heads around this. Um, but I think right now, since the vaccines are effective, um, you know, even if you get, you know, remember, even even uh, with the regular native variant, the native form of it, it was only 95% effective. So there's always going to be some people who get it. But if you do get infected, um, we're finding that you don't, uh, the mortality rate, rate and hospitalization rate is still very, very, very low. And more importantly, or as important, not more, but as importantly, your risk of spreading it to somebody else is very, very low. That was one of the big factors that came right. in to the new decision to get rid of the mask mandate if you've been vaccinated, because 
the problem was, well, what if you get, you know, what if you get uh, infected despite being vaccinated? Because we know that happens. And then you spread it to somebody else. So it turns out that that is very, very unlikely. So I think the biggest risk for these uh, theaters is for people uh, who are not vaccinated. Uh, right. You go in there and you're not vaccinated and you say you're vaccinated. You know, you get whatever you're going to do to fake that. Right. You're putting yourself in jeopardy. Now, I was talking to my wife, to, to Kate, tonight about this. Uh, and I and actually, I spent the morning with uh, um, with Stokes. Oh. Yeah, we had an impromptu breakfast and it turned into like the whole morning. <laughs> we about, about this. And, you know, when I go back to a theater, I might just, when the lights go out, put on a mask, not even for COVID, but for who wants to get a cold again? Who wants right. to get flu again? And I don't mind. It's kind of cozy inside there. And then, you know, I, I might take it off after when the lights come on. I don't know. I think we're going to all figure this out for ourselves. But the bottom line here is that the more people get vaccinated, the more we'll all be protected. We're saying this over and over again, but now, you know, People like Tony Fauci uh, and Rochelle Walensky, the head of the CDC, are sounding the alarm and saying, do not become complacent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. All right. Thank All you. All right, John. Good. We can. So it, it's the, it's the uh, night cl- on the 12th. It's the anniversary of the Pulse nightclub, the horrific Pulse nightclub shooting. And we'll talk about uh, the the terrific stuff that you did surrounding that to raise awareness and raise money for uh for the, you know, for people who were, were hurt uh, by that. Thank you. So, Thanks for bringing us on your show for that. All right. Yeah, we will talk about that. Okay. Yeah. We got to plan a whole show around that. Yeah. We're, we're going to do a whole show. We're still figuring out the date, but um, yeah. absolutely. All right. Guys. Um, all, all right. right John. Okay. Thank Take you. Dr. I will. Good night. All right. Good night. All right. All right. Yeah, even when he has negative news, he's still, there's still a positive light. Yes, there is. Like. Oh my gosh. Look what All right. So let's first wearing. bring back the boring person. Jack, usually <laughs> you have the most fun yeah, outfit. Jack, usually you're the outrageous one. Yeah. He's embracing, he's embracing the boring. Well, now it's, well, it's also prop humor. So it's comedy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tonight we've got some really stunning falls. We have Ms. Kate Baldwin. Wow. Yes. Oh my Baba boom. Stunning. She's been in the basement for 11 years, but this is, you know, Sharon McLonagan from Finian's Rainbow. Finian's Rainbow. Then we have uh, <laughs> Norma Desmond, Ms. Gavin Creel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Then we have a sort of a, a blonde Marilyn Monroe, Beanie Feldstein Stein. I refuse yeah, to get Feldstein. it right. So I want two, three. Look at the locks. Yeah, wait a minute. This is Noah Galvin's wig that lives at my house. And it's, I mean, Marilyn is a real compliment to this friend, you know, but I'll take it. And and then, um, what is it? You had a shit day. I had a shit day. We have Pink, Miss Taylor Trench. <laughs> yes. This is like Scarlett Johansson in Lost in Translation. Totally. Mm. So <laughs> stunning. Um, it doesn't help your team though. You are still losing though, team hello. Um, I gotta be honest. I, I honesty is my best policy. It is. Um, but you know what? Beanie, you're so hilarious. Why don't we show everybody just how funny you were? You are the the laughematic lady. I've never seen anything. So I, my butt just fell off. <laughs> so there somewhere. <laughs> Beanie, oh you're God. so funny. You got Please. two laughs on that. You got you divided that one laugh into two. Brava. Jerry's axe. Jerry's axe. Um, by the way, you're not the only beautiful blonde here. There was another beautiful blonde that was in a disco competition. Oh no. 
Here is Ms. Jack Plotnick. With 33 of the world's top disco dancers. Finland. USA. The top 33 disco dancers in the world. And here she is, contestant number one. Sorry, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. 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 I'
And um, my dad doesn't care about anyone. He that's so nice. That's awesome. He likes Emmy Rossum too. I do know that. He does love Emmy Rossum. <laughs> I do know that. <laughs> what's his name? Give, what's his name? <laughs> Richie. Richard Feldstein. Richie. I've got, I've got to give him a shout out on the radio. That's so nice. Well, hi, Mr. Feldstein or Feldstein. I refuse to remember oh it. Oh my God, you got to learn this. <laughs> you know, because it's Bernstein, Bernstein. It gives me a splitting headache. Why can't it be consistent amongst everyone's last name? Harvey Feierstein, Feierstein. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, thank you. Platnik, Platnik. I can't keep it. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. One word. It's Dolly's. You're up. Oh, oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Jack, you Wait, started a hashtag. I'm from American. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I love that you guys mentioned quotes. That made me so happy. Uh, um, okay. So now it's my turn. It is my fabulous team. Yes. And I'm waiting and for is this David, clown. Is David <clears throat> timing or do I need the time? Um, okay. You need the time. Do you have a stopwatch? I, I uh, yeah. When he's mine. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Um, all righty. Ready, mm -hmm. set, go. Rigamarole. Hoopla. Mm -hmm. Dog. Um, la 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 um oxygen hydrogen yitzhak hedwig yeah we never had that so i'm skipping it um Queen. Helen Mirren. Yep. Um, Moss. Handmaid's Tale. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Heaven is a place on earth. Rap. Hammer. Rap. Hammer. Yes. Nice. Um, Iceland? Helsinki. Yes. <laughs> um, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Oh, wow. Taylor, you're on your kick. Beanie, you're amazing. Bravo, y'all! That was great. That was really good. Should I should I say the word that the one that was there that we never did? We could put it into round three. No, sure. don't bother. I'll cut it out of round three. Yeah, I'll put it in. Good. What was it? It was one of mine. It was a Jeffrey Osborne song. Do 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 do. Yeah, let's leave it out. Let's leave it out. Gavin, that was a good setup. Thank that, you. Very it actually much. Was. It was. It was devastating. <laughs> you know what? I demand a voice coaching now. <laughs> you donate seventy five dollars. Yeah, after that horrible singing. Um, <laughs> okay, excellent. Is how do you keep the music playing? People don't know. People don't live. You're all too young to live in the eighties. Infuriating. Okay, Helsinki's in Finland. You know. Wait, what? is it staying in or not? I guess no. The, uh, okay. Kate, Kate said it was in Iceland, and I, I go by. No, I did. I said, it, I said it was in Iceland. Oh, <laughs> Gavin did. And then Taylor added the next round. He's like, it's from Finland. Yeah, he'd know it all. There's a lot, <laughs> I'm with a lot of smart people on my team. Here are the correct words Hoopla, Havanese, How much Dog in the Wilder, Hydrogen, Hedvig, Helen Mirren, Hammy's Tale. Wow. Hammer, Helsinki. Wow. Really impressive. Very impressive. You guys are killing it. What's the I score? Know. It's like 906. Oh. Lowe's are 17 and Dolly's 25. Ooh, okay. you haven't you won yet. This you round, haven't... Oh, we're having a blast. This round is going to crush. All right, come on, Gap. Pudding, pudding. Oh, I don't have uh -oh. I don't really have another exciting. I'm done. Oh, no. Uh, I'm doing something else. Whoa. Whoa. No. Kate. <laughs> what? Kate, oh, oh, you for a fourth look. I, I only had four, you guys. Oh. I didn't know there was going to be. Okay, shit. Just bring the wig oh. back. Or maybe yeah. that on the wig. Put the wig on backwards. Put it on backwards. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Yes, yeah, for <laughs> real. Turn the wigs around. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it is. All right, I'm going to time y'all. Okay. Okay. Taylor, you are, I mean, I'm dying. Taylor, you're killing me. I love it so much. You're disturbing me, Madeline. Exactly. So, so we, we love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. Yes, that doesn't rhyme. It's right. fine. All right, Gabby, are you ready? Okay, yeah. On your mark, get set, go. One word. <laughs> Hate. Hats. Yes. Ledger. Heath. Oh, Heath Bar. Heath Bar. Furry. Hamster. La 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 la. Nakamura. 
Ooh. Uh -huh. Jack, I need a clue. Okay. Love it. Hello, Bonham Carter. Groinal. Hemlock. Hernia. Hernia. Shit. Mash. Uh, not lips, Hulan. Hulan. Seed. Oh, oh, oh. Not hemp seed. It was hazelnut. <laughs> Stock. Oh, how now, Dow Jones? Oh, my God. Amanda. What? Amanda? Might need to scope. That was time, but that was really good, guys. Gavin, guy. yes. That was a bad clue. Sorry. No, but that was that was excellent up until then. That was good. Although we we call non-word on groinal. You know what? It worked. Groinal. <laughs> groinal. Inguinal. Inguinal. I'm thinking of inguinal, but it's a, it's a word. We knew what you meant. Beanie, you're the yeah. smarty pants. Is that an SAT word or is that a made-up word? I don't know. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Inguinal, it's called inguinal hernia. It's all good. I'm, 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 yeah. I believed it. You could probably, um, you really may have caught up with that. That was very impressive. No. We are up to Team Dolly. And is it Taylor or Penny? It is Taylor, right? Taylor, Taylor, the latte boy. I do just oh, wait a minute, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Whoa. I'm just... Yeah, yeah. groinal is not a word, so I looked it up and uh, cool. But you know, wow. what I mean. Let's I just, know. Gavin, that's amazing. Someone Gavin, Gavin. Ledger was a really good clue. That was good. Thank you. I was worried that you were going to be like Ledger, like Ledger, and, and get it was I was. I was like accountant. I that's thought I that at first, and then and but then, I count out yeah. Jones. <laughs> and with stock, I was like like Puritan in stocks, like completely. I'm a terrible person. Okay, um, good luck for that. Be quiet, Taylor and Beans. Are you ready, Taylor? Look at the private chat. I'm I'm gonna time y'all. Okay, you got it. on your mark, get set, one word. Cars. Car. Hands on a hard body. Hands on a hard body. Yes. Uh, tushy. Hemorrhoid. Oh, hemorrhoid. Um, love. Love. Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Movie uh, starring. All right. Beyonce. The other side of Beyonce. Beyonce. Is that a song? Can you sing Pass. it? Now? Um, sandwich. Hamburger. Hamburger. Mountains. Himalayas. Rain. Hail. Actress. Helen Mirren. Helena Bottom Carter. Girl, that is some general shiz. Um, uh, I can't change the word. Actress, actress. Um, can I mime? No, that's no, not. No, the time, time is up. Please. Time is up. That is a lesson we've learned from when James Get first once went woman. Woman. That was like, my wonderful clue. So Taylor, <laughs> I understand. We've all been there. Sorry, I can get Beyonce. I don't know what it was. Sorry. I don't think I'm young enough the to get Beyonce. Is... Wait, not the other. The other part of Beyonce is not. That's no, not helpful. Well, look, other not people helpful. are supporting you. A lot of people are supporting you. People got it. Got finally, thank you. That's <clears> the final <throat> comment. Oh, wait a minute. We lost Gavin. Oh, but the, here's the good news. Who cares about Gavin? Because Kate has donations. Oh, okay. Cousin It. I do. Need donations. I need to. Oh, I, that's that's a, uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, shit. Sorry. I was taking a screenshot. I want to know how I can share a screenshot later. I'll do it later. Oh, send it to David. Just text David. Do you have his? I'll text you, Gavin. Just, Here, yeah, I think I, I think I got it. I just have to okay, share, share a shot. <laughs> now, okay. now we know that Sheriff McLaughlin backwards is head big. So yeah. Now, <laughs> that's what's happening because it got yes. the Sarah Fawcett happening. It's her lungs. <laughs> and upside down. Okay, good. Um, I must donate tonight in honor of the cast of one of my favorite Broadway shows ever. I saw the original production with Carol Channing. Yes, I'm that old. Smiley face. The Pearl Bailey version and, of course, this cast's version with Bette Midler. In fact, I flew to New York just to see this production. Seth and James, thanks for all you do. Seattle, Susie Q. Oh. She's very loyal. Thank you, Seattle Susan Q. In honor of Taylor Trench, our favorite Barnaby and favorite oh. son slash brother slash uncle. Love Dad, Colby, and Rex from Florida. Oh. They love you, even with that hat on. 
Um, thanks for hosting this. Sending uh, love to everyone. Miss you, Beanie. Jules. Oh, Jules is very sweet. Very, came to see the show so often. Aww. Happy to support another fun game night. I promised myself that I'd donate the next time Gavin Creel was on in honor of the beautiful performance he did with Miss Cast 21 with Aaron Tabate in his eyes. It was sung so wonderfully. Shame they didn't have any fun with it. Wait. <laughs> the moving of the hair to the wink that was so good <laughs> uh for the forever joy of hello dolly and this incredible midweek pudding treat also for kate baldwin looking absolutely radiant and blue and lighting up the whole world okay, thank you. <laughs> thank that you, one's from Amy. kate baldwin Thank you. <laughs> from, from Donated kate by Tate to B. Yeah. Right, Kate. <laughs> kate Baldwin. Um, Gavin, is there anything you want to say about your screenshot? I just wanted to say I, it didn't get the best. The faces this this person was pulling the whole time, I was like, oh, these are priceless. While the clues were being given and everything, but the one I got wasn't that exciting. But it is just so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Jack was, Jack was giving me like. Like so many good faces, and you were so funny, Jack. It was so funny. Wow. <laughs> like Carnegie Mellon. How did you two put that together? Some devious plan? Where was? How did you do that? Gavin just took a screenshot and sent that jizz. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, so Nick, so funny. We're you guys are very close to almost having our score. It is apparently like thirty-two to twenty-nine at this point. Um, I think twenty-three. 2831. Yeah. So whose close. team is it? It's team Hello Hello and it's Kate. Queen. Yes, Queen. Amazing. You guys, I'm in rolling this way. Okay. <laughs> when you ready, Kate. That like back of the throat stuff happening. All right. Okay, let's go. Family show. Keep All right. going. We got this. <laughs> this is right, still I'm one word. Yes. Yes, ma'am. On your mark. Get set. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Sorry, I was on the private chat, so I saw what that is. So so oh, can so you Oh, yeah. I'll word. skip it. Next Stop, word. Sorry, back. Yeah. sorry. It's okay. So okay. honest. On your okay, mark, ready? get set, go. Font. Hel Helvetica. Helvetica. Oh, my goodness. My new yeah. computer. President. Honest uh, Abe. Honest Abe. Guys, this new computer is fucking. I'll get more time. It's okay. TV. Handmaid's Tale? Hulu? Yes. Hulu, nice. Correct. Halitosis. Cartoon. Cartoon. I don't remember, Gavin. You may have Hello Kitty. Hello yes! Kitty. Oh. I got it before City. you did the illegal charade. <laughs> City. City. Oh, uh, Helsinki. City. You oh, can see Houston, Texas. Yeah. Houston, ding, Texas. ding, 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 ding. That's, That's it. it. Whoa. Those are all the clues? Yeah, you got them all. Kate, you can start. You have 15 seconds to do your first charades. Wow. Well done, Kate. So, really well done. So, wow. Kate, just Look make sure everyone, a note for everyone, just make sure you say how many words are in the clue because sometimes it really helps by saying one, two, whatever it is. Got so, it. we'll start oh, with 15 oh, seconds. Right. Yeah. So, let's do these 15 seconds. Kate, are you ready, dear? Yes. Jack, okay. Three. Jack, am I going for a, a line or am I doing this? No, no, going. I did it three times so you'd know it's that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, On the nose. You lost it. On your mark, get set, go. Pass. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready with the next. I reset. Go. Oh. Um, um, Head big in the anger inch. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, oh, oh, this is a. Sounds, sounds. Song, song, oh. song. Heaven, Heaven is a place on earth. earth. Uh, how much is that dog in the window? How, how, how much is that dog in the window? And time. Uh, well hey, an extra two. That's all right. That's great. We'll take those two. Yeah, I'm not good at being quiet. I, no, I talk there's a lot of um and oh, this has been done before. There's a lot of talking in charades. You know, I, I forgot. We should go through um, the, what yes. the charade things are that you can use. You know, you can do movie, TV show, uh, um, play. Okay. We, we do this for a man and this for a woman, probably very no, inappropriate. We're not, doing that. we're not doing the binary in this team. It's I know, happening. I couldn't agree more. This so how is do you do man like, and woman? Yeah, well, we come up with a new one. 
You do man or woman like that. <laughs> man or woman. That's what about how you lefties? Do it. I'm a lefty man, and a man. Now what? Woman equal man woman. <laughs> I like it. I like it. How'd I do, Madeline? Madeline, is that okay with you, Madeline? That's great with me. <laughs> That's syllable. How do, you do song? Song? How do you do song? Sounds like. <laughs> okay. Very similar to woman. You actually did it, Kate. That's what I thought you knew. And and I heard that, Jack. That was good. That's right. um, by the way, Kate is not good at being quiet, but she is good at singing in the mass. <laughs> That was a very um, legit version. I, I, I had built your version. That was the very that was a very floaty legit version. I'm that was that was, a, was that like a Wednesday, Thursday night? Is that a Thursday night? <laughs> that was a well rested night. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, Jack. Weren't you Cornelius in high school? Any stories about your? I, I was thrilled to be Barnaby. I, I mean, uh, yeah. You were Barnaby. Yeah, I love doing that show. Boy, Sunday clothes is so joyful. It's so great to, I don't know, and of course, elegance, but you guys know that. <laughs> Eight times a week. I prefer I'm Sunday fun. clothes, too. <laughs> Sunday clothes, Gavin and I, we got cut from it really early, and we were like, no, we have to be in it. Let us like lead the parade on of all of the gorgeous like fluorescent pastel costumes. And they're like, okay, you can do it for one night. And we tried. And every night prior, it was like thunderous applause as the costumes came on. Dragon and I fought so hard to be in the number. The night that we went, the audience was like, <gasps> oh. Silent, silent. Good. But, Good. but the one night we did it, uh, Juliana Cervantes, well, I don't forget her first name, our, our photographer, oh, yeah. our beautiful yeah. photographer, took a picture of us. <laughs> and it's in the, it's, I'm getting it. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, in two like it? brown suits in front of all these beautiful pink costumes. You think it literally killed the applause? Hundred percent. That is so devastating yeah. and hilarious. You yeah. forced your way and ruined the damn show. Really? <laughs> Hold on, we're waiting for Gavin's. <laughs> four of those suits that you wore were like upholstery. They were like, like couch upholstery and just like brown. They were brilliant. They were totally. Sato Laposto masterpieces, but they were, yeah, they, they were like hair. wearing a sofa bed, kind of. Taylor, why were you wigged when you have when it was just basically your hair? Oh no, so it's that, the best wig in the world. Oh, that it's that it's way. in my writer wherever I go. <laughs> yeah. They wanted you blonde. They wanted you blonde, didn't they? Yeah, I think there were a lot of brunettes on stage. They wanted a blondie. Why did they just dye your hair and grow it out? I don't know. I, I was lucky to have the wig though. So yeah, everyone, I want you to look at these amazing costumes. <laughs> so beautiful, so stunning, wonderful. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Also, <laughs> like our posse. Our posse is so bad, so lazy. Oh my god! It's so low. It's so, so low. Bad. Look at this beautiful <laughs> shot. What are we? Doing? <laughs> oh my it's, god! That is like, funny. I mean, Taylor, it's, not even, it's not even passe, it's like a coupe. What the hell? That's even, yeah, even a coupe is like being generous for me. Yeah, he's I love like a wooden stump that I'm just dragging across the Schubert stage. You guys look yeah. like someone just screamed, get the fuck off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> From the inside, we were screaming that at ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was, literally running off, exactly. It's me to run off. Um, all right, ladies, we are up to Team Dale. I, I, I was trying to see what, how many points did we get on that round? I have no idea. Two. Uh, no, no, because we had had the one word. Julia, can you post it again? Oh. You yeah. want to, Julia, post yeah, the I don't score? Know. Yeah, or no, just how many we got? Oh, on the that extra because you got the charades. Yeah, can you yeah. combine the charades with? Uh... Taylor, now I know why we lost every card game. It was my fault. <laughs> no, it's not true. It was. Oh, like, hey, you crushed that last time. And also, oh. I love how you've repurposed that wig. 
Yeah, I just wanted to read. Really, yeah, okay. Kate, you got eight. That's Woo! really good. And BD yeah, Feldstein is going to be in Jagged Little Pill next season. You're so hip, Beans. Okay, okay. Right here. She's standing I'm, gonna, up. I'm standing up. I need to be motivated. You know? I love it. I love it. Okay, um, tell me when to go. Okay, I'm gonna. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. One word. Sexy. Kiss. kiss. Oh, how let's oh. Honest Abe. Oh, wow. Tiny. Um. Oh, ha hazelnut. <laughs> a song. How much is that dog? You know, heaven is a place on uh, heaven is a place on earth. The how, other one. Glockamora. Um, how are things Glockamora? Yeah. Heartbreaker. Heartbreakers, a movie starring hamburger. Hamburger, no, a corner, oh. corner of the cop. Wait. <laughs> Hamster, <laughs> peeling. Wait, huh. wait, eight? How many words? Just one? Two. Two words. Uh, that you peel? You were peeling something. Oh, Heath Bar. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, oh, that's mean. oh, oh, um, hullabaloo. Oh, oh, right over that word. Hoopla. Was. Hoopla. Have How much of that dog in the window? Or have any hair, hat, 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 hats. I hate hats. Time. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That's incredible. Bravo. That was really good. That was great teamwork. Okay. Wow. Ooh, Very Heath impressive. Heath Bar was hard. Yeah, Heath Bar, Seth got it, killed it. But that, that was, was that good. was really, that was a delicious corn of the cob bar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Taylor's the mime in the group, really. No, that was actually really good. I kind of that was very good. Um, both okay. had such beautiful handwork. Mm. Both of your hands are so beautiful. All of your Whoa, hands. All, no. all Team Dalai. <laughs> Hot Lips, Honest Abe, Hazelnut, How Are Things, Glockamora, Heartbreakers, Heath Bar, Hoopla, Havanese, Hats. Wow, very good for charades. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Gavin Perfect. and Kate, don't expect anything close to that, but I'll do my best. Are we believing you? As long as you get one, we're happy. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, buddy. You got a lot this. of pressure. You got this. You got this, James. All right. Ready, James? Let's Let's see. Okay. I like staying seated. This is good. Right, tell me. Uh, tell me when, Seth. Um. Okay. On your mark. Get set. It's a little bit harder here. Go. Okay. Ha. Uh, 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 um. Uh, queen. Um. Helen Mirren. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Whips. Max. The max. Um, whip. whip. Smash. Hammer. Yes. Hammer. Um, three, words. three words. Smart. Um. Devastatingly handsome. Uh. uh mm. Messy. Helen Hunt. Ooh. H Helen Bottom Carter. Yes. Um. Yes. One word. Oh God. Oh, did you got hernia? Hemorrhoids. Yes. Hernia. Um. Yes. Two words. Um, Two words. Pass. Pass. Song. Who oh. baby? Heaven is a heaven is a place on earth. Yeah. Um. <laughs> two, two words. Um. Yeah. Ha. Helen oh. Hunt. Yes. No. Um, yes. Helen Hunt. Oh. One word. Oh, smell it. Smell Helen it. Helen Joseph. Helen Joseph. Time. Oh, darn. Why is it so, oh, why is it so delicious, Kate? He's like. Mm. Halitosis. Yeah. <laughs> that was it's good. Like, you were great. Helen Hunt was amazing. amazing. Um, there was like a Helen shoulder Hunt. moment. Like Helen Hunt. Well, okay. So here's the thing. In the past, I love that we're because I've been uncomfortable with the this and the that. Anyway, yeah. so I'm so glad you brought that up, Gavin. Well, why can't you say it's a person? Be well, we have to come up with a word. We didn't come up with a word. But here's the thing: because we, it's, I didn't have, I didn't, I couldn't use that. It made me think, okay, what am I going to do? Which, by the way, is probably still stereotypical it's because yeah. it's yeah. like that. So it's like, what do you do? But it was, but you got but it. The horrible. I'm going to out myself. The horrible, horrible things I have done in charades to get somebody to guess something quickly. Yeah. It's time. Those days are over. I will lose the game. Because what I did before, not okay. And I'm out of <laughs> myself, it has not been okay. So it's like, there are many things I've done in trades where I'm like, I should be canceled and never brought back for a game <laughs> night in the ever. 
So I'm, I'm saying it to every white person on this phone call and the things that I've done and the things that I've said as a gay man. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do better. I promise I'm going to try better. Gavin, the hemorrhoids was okay though, right? Yeah, you were just like, and it's like a bite. Got more viewers. Jack, do you have a question, dear? I have a Helen Hunt story. I was doing a project where I had to go to a special effects shop to get like my face. You know how they do a, a mold, right, of your face. Oh. As I'm leaving, he he grabs something off his shelf and holds it up to me. He goes, this is Helen Hunt's breast. Because <laughs> apparently she had had a full body mold. <laughs> Wow! Share that with me. <laughs> Talk about inappropriate. Round. What'd you say, Seth? Maybe for the charades next round, when we hold up a breast, Helen Hunt, we got a donation. Jeez. No, from Toby. Oh my God! I think I finally figured this out. Thanks to everyone's help. I never miss a show, but I never donated because I didn't get the technology. I'm starting oh. out with a Jewish high. Eighteen. More to come later if this works. I had the wonderful pleasure of seeing the incredible Betty Lynn Buckley and Hello Dolly tour at Broadway in Utica a few years ago. I oh, share nice. every Stars and House episode and all the theater events during my daily live Facebook drumming. Thanks, Seth and James and Stars in the House for giving this theater haul like her theater fix and helping me stay sane. Here we go, praying I did this right. Texting from my phone, <laughs> Toby Sheck. <laughs> Yay, Tobes. That's funny. Yay, okay. Um, okay. All right, Seth, um, who's up? Are you up? You're up. I think I'm up. I had, I'm not a fan of charades. I know, you and I both. Okay. But... <clears throat> okay. All right, let me let me time you here. Tell me when you're ready. You okay? Um, okay. Ready, set, go. One word. Oh, it's not me. How is this? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yes. My computer is glitching. Hamster. Hamster. Yes. Helvetica. Yes. Um, Helvetica. <laughs> words. Two words. Handmaid's Tale. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> My computer's so glitchy. Hemorrhoids. Texas. Got it. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One word. Hulu. Yes. All right. I gave you a few extra okay, seconds. Okay, so wait. Was it a delay? You. Was I deaf? No, What's it's happening? No, it's 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 Wi Fi is. Uh, oh. oh. You can't go to Colin and Patty's. Oh, my God. No, no. It was really good guessing, but it was just 20 minutes late. My favorite was Beanie going, Houston, Texas. <laughs> I, I didn't get Houston, Texas. That was all TG. Well, my favorite was I was 20 minutes done and I heard you heard Helvetica <laughs> like the eighth time. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Hi Taylor. Seth, why was your typist so haughty? Oh, because <laughs> Helvetica's very. <laughs> That's my signature. That's how I type. Um, I think we did pretty well. We got. Hydrogen. Oh, that's what you were doing. Was blowing all over. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Hydrogen. Yes. Oh. I don't know how you do that. Which I know. I know. I'm not, I'm not breathing in hydrogen, but it's like I couldn't figure it out. Um, pretty good. What's the last five. word you got, Seth? The last word I got, dear, was used. I think you said no. Hulu. Hulu. She Hulu. guessed Hulu right on time. Yeah, you got Hulu. Yep. Uh oh, Taylor is going out again. Okay, well it's Tails. It's, okay, well it's hello yes. right now. Oh, there we go. He's just moving to a better spot. I was having Wi-Fi trouble, so I'm trying to move. Okay. All right. Now it's nine team... words left. Team Hello. All right, Gavin. All right, Gavin, are you ready? I know you're rocking uncomfortably, but does that mean that you're ready? I mean, she's getting I'm ready. ready. I'm grooving. Oh, wait, right. I'll get in the private chat. Focus. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, Gavilar. wait, Jack, Jack, under the line, right, Jack? Yeah, start with the first one under the line. Gotcha. Okay, I'm going to Okay, I'm gonna sit down, but this is going to go terribly wrong. I know it's weird. Okay. On your mark, get set, don't get canceled. <laughs> did you say go? I, did. Oh. I said, don't get canceled was my way of saying go. Oh. Just, yeah. just trying to warn you. Okay, I know. Okay, it's going to be terrible. I'm going to try my hardest here. Okay, ready? Okay. On your mark, get set, non-offensive, go. 
Hamster? Um, no. Um, hell. Hell. Oh, heaven is a place on earth. Helvetica. Helsinki. Oh, Hernia. Good. Uh, hand in the hood. Uh, hood. It is. Um, oh, oh, having a baby. Hands on a hard body? What? No. Yes. Hand. Hand. Oh, my God. Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. Oh, that was good. Hi. Hello, kitty. Hello, kitty. Oh, Himalayas. What? Uh-oh. Is it new? Wait, is it new? That's a new word, isn't it? Okay, then give him an extra, skip that word and give him an extra 15. Okay. Hamburger. Hamburger. How to toast this. Hand on a hard body. Ding, 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 ding. That's all the words. Now, wait, what was that word in there? Hail? Yes. I put it in two what? rounds. Who did it in the first round? You guys did. It. You said I weather, really not did. rain, but it's hail. Falling from the sky, ice falling from the sky. That's what Taylor did. But did you give us extra time? Oh, you know, sorry. Uh, I'm you sorry. got eight words. That was my bad. That was my bad. I'm sorry. It's fine. Also, oh, also, somebody else. You guys should get one more round of charades because you went second. But there are no more words. Yeah, but but if we went first, we're always going to be ahead if it's close. I, I don't know. We've never done that before, Gab. We've never done that. Well, that's never... how you play a fair game. So if you've done it wrong all this time, it's fine. <laughs> For someone? <laughs> exactly. And then sips uncomfortably. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't seem fair. We just win because we won? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Well, don't go anywhere because, wait, yeah, don't go anywhere because, first of all, I've got uh, a high note from years ago that I wanted to revisit. One, two, three, high note. It's Gavin Creel here and Seth Rudetsky. Wait, where are your classes? Oh, shit. (laughs) This is our look. This is the look for the the number we're going to do. What are we doing this number? We're doing this from Thoroughly Modern Really. We're going to be doing it at the P-Town Art House, Papa Town Art House, September 5th and 6th. You go to ptownarthouse.com, and this is the ending I insisted upon that should have been being done eight shows a week, but someone was lazy. Too tired. You only do this eight times a week. You can only do it twice at the art house in Province Town. Province Town. Let's <clears throat> from the beautiful violin solo. It's a selfie. Because you need some support, and your legs are crossed. How are you going to hit the notes? <laughs> I can't see the sunglasses. <laughs> Although I hardly know you. What do I need with love? I got it good. Got it good. But now I got it bad. The choir is in a stripper ending. What am I wearing? See at the art house. Rack. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um. Okay. So, since we do have time, I wanted to show this to you guys because you just triggered me. Because Kate, you told me about your obsession. So this is—it's a long video, but I really think it's worth it. This is our brilliant friend Varla Jean Merman uh-huh. when she went to Japan. Jeffrey Roberson is his real name, but he—he he really, for real, was playing Mary Sunshine in Chicago, and went to Japan and went to Hello Kitty Land. Oh. <laughs> And this video is amazing. I haven't seen it in years, but it's one of my favorites. So this is just for our Stars and House audience to really enjoy. But this is a real place in Japan. Kate, you may freak out. You may be buying a plane ticket by the end. Here we go. <laughs> he really was playing Mary Sunshine in Chicago. What's new, what's a cat? Hi, I'm Hello Kitty, and I love Varla Jean Merman. <laughs> Actually, I'm Varla Jean Merman, and I love Hello Kitty. Now, for those of you Philistines, Hello Kitty is Japan's latest attempt at world domination. She's kind of like their Mickey Mouse, only she's prettier and more enigmatic. Now, a big problem facing celebrities today is what do we do with the exorbitant salaries we command? Philanthropy? No. Hello Kitty collectibles? Yes. Now, because Hello Kitty is based in Japan, many of the most prized collector's items aren't even available here in the U.S. Well, when I got wind that there was a pink Hello Kitty toaster only available in the Far East, I knew it was time for my pilgrimage to Mecca. Yes, Hello Kitty's homeland, Tokyo. But how the hell was I going to get there? 
I mean, no self-respecting celebrity has ever paid for his or her own ticket to go anywhere. So the search was on for a vehicle. As if by magic, I caught wind that an authorized company of the Broadway hit musical Chicago was going to Tokyo. So I gave the choreographer, Annie Reinking, a call. Unfortunately, Annie didn't want to talk to me. But no quicker than you could say Bob Fosse's illegitimate child, I got a role and was on a plane to Tokyo. Fourteen hours later, I woke up in a dumpster behind the world's most traversed rail center, Tokyo Shinjuku Station. But as I mingled amongst the mongoloid commuters, I had the strange feeling that people were staring at me. Perhaps they recognized me from one of my many unreleased films, or maybe they had never seen such natural tawny auburn hair. But then it all became clear. I noticed that Michael Jackson's surgical mask were de rigueur. I needed one to blend in. Well, when in Rome, do the Romans. Of course, I added a few of my own extra embellishments. And I can tell you, boy, did it work. Once I put that thing on, no one would even look at me. As I scoured the streets, looking for souvenirs for friends, I began to notice differences between our two cultures. I was well aware that a lot of things in Japan are rumored to be smaller than the big things we have in the U.S. Like, look at this American Coke can. I can barely get my hand around it. Now look at this Japanese Coke can. Why, my fist glides up and down at lickety-split. Wow! I'm proud I'm American. I also encountered differences in the ladies' room when I went to powder my nose and was confronted by this traditional Japanese toilet. <laughs> no sitting down on the job there. But it's not that the Japanese haven't excelled in toilet technology. I also encountered this toilet. <sighs> well, when I pushed this button, all I can tell you was it felt like a cross between a baptismal and a scene out of the movie Alien. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I always liked the movie Alien. <laughs> and I liked that toilet. Those clever Japanese have found a way to get rid of snotty sales clerks. Vending machines. You can get anything out of them. Flowers, cameras, corn juice, Miss Queen Elixir, vitamins, minerals, and even this strange concoction, beer water. An ingenious nectar with the taste of water and all the calories and carbohydrates of beer. All yours for a few yen in the slot. After sampling more local cuisine, I spotted my very first Hello Kitty luxury boutique. Was I dreaming? They had every Hello Kitty collector's item imaginable, all for sale. Well, the rug wasn't, but the rest was. Everything from the Hello Kitty dustpan, Hello Kitty clocks, Hello Kitty mirrors, Hello Kitty toilet brushes, Hello Kitty faux Chanel collection, Hello Kitty Samsonite luggage, Hello Kitty terry cloth bath gear, Hello Kitty telephones, paper shredders, rice cooker, fax machines, Hello Kitty angel space panties, Hello Kitty undistilled water, Hello Kitty frying pan, a Hello Kitty home enema set, and next to the Hello Kitty vacuum cleaner was the toaster. Oh, I snatched it up immediately and ran outside to inspect my purchases and to double check my receipt when I gazed upon an inserted advertisement. Just like Dolly Parton, Hello Kitty had her very own theme park just 20 minutes outside of Tokyo. Oh! 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 I got on the next available Hello Kitty train that went directly to Hello Kitty's land and bought tickets for her stage show already in progress. And what a wild show it was with singing and flying ladies and dancing frogs. But where was Kitty? And then in the best entrance I've seen since Glinda the Good Witch, Hello Kitty hovered above the crowd in a giant bubble. When she landed, it deflated and she emerged to waves of adoring applause. Then she wowed the crowd. Oh! I spy some saucy fossy. Immediately after the show, I paid 450,000 yen to go into Hello Kitty's home there on the grounds to congratulate her. Oh, and how tastefully decorated it was. But I tell you, Hello Kitty must be the Mia Farrow of Japan because her house was overrun with young Asian children. One even went so far as to dig in her unflushed toilet. Hey, get out of there. Oh, Hello Kitty must like greens. Finally, Hello Kitty appeared. And then... <laughs> She scratched me. Um, Kitty, uh, this is Varla Jean Merman. I, I traveled 14,000 miles to see you. Uh, uh. Well, maybe she was just a little jealous because I got more attention in Shinjuku Station than she got in her very own theme park. Or maybe she's just a very busy entertainer. <laughs> well, I am too. Oh, that reminded me. I had to get back to the theater for the opening night of Chicago. After a first act full of ovation, I ran down to my dressing room, slipped on my kimono, and prepared to make my first piece of Hello Kitty toast. Well, of course, I popped open some beer water to celebrate the occasion. Uh, but even that didn't prepare me for the sight I was to see. Hello Kitty's face seared onto the bread. 
Not unlike the Shroud of Turin. I fainted. It was too much. Unfortunately, I missed my second act entrance, and the director found me passed out with that can of beer water. He thought it would be good if I left the show for a couple of weeks, you know, for some R&R &R in Palm Springs. Well, bye-bye, Japan. <laughs> I didn't care. I got the toaster. Wait, how did this get in there? This isn't part of my Japan video. Hey, who's running that thing? I, this is not supposed to be... <sighs> well, that was my trip to Japan. Here. That's real, man. You gotta get that toaster, Kate. I'm telling you, they there's Hello Kitty on so many things, so so many things. And I don't she know what the a mouth. What? Well, I was saying, what is the appeal? Is she funny? Like, I don't know what is Hello Kitty. Well, she's a person, first of all. She's not a cat. Oh, she's I'm sorry. A girl, and her uh, name is Hello Kitty. Without a mouth. Without um, a mouth. But her favorite food is apple pie. All right. In conclusion. <laughs> Gavin, you're not featured, but everyone else is. And boy, this is fun. This is our final moment. <laughs> we'll all mark that re-entrance. <laughs> um, anybody have any Broadway plans that we need to talk about before we go? Anybody coming back to Broadway? Silence. I'm the next Elphaba. <laughs> hey, Els. <laughs> Making history as the first Elphaba who can't sustain it vocally. <laughs> <laughs> really honored. That's so funny. Bean, aren't you filming Merrily We Roll Along over the next 60 years? <laughs> Something like that. I'll, I'll have a gaggle of children by the time we're done, if I have anything to say about it. Um, not currently because of COVID, but it's in the works of sorts. Did you film anything yet? Oh, God, you're one of those. My publicist won't allow me to say anything. Fine. My publicist, <sighs> Richard Linklater, you know, one of the two. What else? One of the two. Gabs, what about you? We hear Waitress is coming back. Is Gavin coming back as the waitress? No, I'm not. I'm doing a concert on October 25th at the Met Museum of Art that I want everyone to come to, please. Whoa, how do we, do you have a website anymore? Aren't you like, I'm off social media, man. Okay, yeah, but I have it? a website. All the, all the information will be on the website, but uh, tickets will go on sale either beginning of next month or the beginning of August is what they've told me, but I've been working really hard on it for a couple of years now. It's been in the works for many years, but I, I have this commission at the Met Museum. So thank you, David. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm really excited. It's it's the first major step. I want to turn it into a piece that I could eventually bring to the circle in the square. That's my dream. I but, remember talking um, with you with James when we were going to the movies on like 68th Street in like Columbus, like years ago. Years ago. About. Yeah, yeah. I've been working on it for a long time, and I'm really. I also want to say this is this is unrelated, but it's also one. Did anybody? Did you guys watch Inside Bo Burnham? Yeah. Yes. yes. Not yet. No, it, not yet. It's literally. For me, like one of the most masterful things I've ever seen, I, I, it's 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 so perfectly captures a lot of what I was feeling during this time that we were all shut up. I think a lot of us were, but watching how creative and 
hilarious and smart. And oh my gosh, it was so inspiring. I watched it and I can't. Wow. It's and it's not for the faint of heart. It's it's it goes. It's tough, right? Don't you guys think like totally? I mean, the songs he writes and the oh, I loved it. It's was so good. But anyway, that but October twenty fifth is is the show I'm doing. Well, October twenty fifth. And Kate Baldwin, are we going to hear your your masterful placement at some point? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a bunch of con yeah, I'm doing a bunch of concerts. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm doing a series of concerts at Second Stage actually at the end of July. I'm going to do eight shows there um, at the end of July, and it's going to be me and Georgia Stitt and a piano, and we're figuring out new stuff, uh, old stuff and new stuff, and. Um, Carol Rothman called me up and said, can you do songs, songs that are healing, but also like do something that's funny. And I'm going to try my best to, you know, tell some funny, bad stories and, and just, you know, and, and second stage is going to have, um, I think, I think tickets are going to be free and it's just about having people back in the space and second wow. stage wants to take care of people in a theater again. Cause you know, yes. <laughs> oh, nothing's there. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> No, it's probably at second stage, uh, their website. Um, so they, what they want to do is make sure that they know how to make people feel safe in a in a theater again. So, wow. so they asked me to come and do some songs, and that's at the end of July. So, Kate, so come back in, in July and, 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 and come and talk with us at the beginning of the show when, when you know, you have the information of... Beginning of our show. It sound, yeah, beginning of Stars in the House, because yeah. it sounds sounds really cool. I want to hear more about it. Great, yeah. I, I love, love that idea. To. Yeah. And by the way, we were being hashtag because I forgot the, the lose. Who is the losing team? Do we do we know who lost? Well, I guess your team officially. Okay, so the losing team. Someone has to tell. Oh, Gavin has an embarrassing story. Gavin yeah. always has embarrassing yeah, Gavin's stories. Not the losing team, I know, but he was pointing. I at feel himself. like we lost. But I want to hear. I want to hear your guys' embarrassing. Stories. No, but he's no. Gavin says he feels like our team lost. Oh, I know. Not that he has an embarrassing story, but so we which team no lost? no that I too. Hear, I want to hear your embarrassing stories. No, but but hold on. Hold we on. have we have a marital disagreement here. I believe why Gavin. We, yeah, why are you pointing to yourself? Why are you going like that, Gavin? I thought we lost. That's See? what I thought he was. No, you're saying Gavin has an embarrassing story, and I said right. no. He's saying he lost. Right. And well, both. No, he was not saying no. He was not saying no. That's oh, the whole point. Uh, uh, he was not saying both. So who? But Julia would know who lost. Julia, the Dolly's lost. Well, I lost. mean, the reality oh, is, oh, we lost. Okay, yeah, you so, technically lost. So Taylor, yeah. Beanie, or me. So the Hello Team uh, picked somebody to tell an embarrassing story. Is it an embarrassing story, just in general, or an embarrassing Hello Dolly story? No, no, just in general. But it has to be actually embarrassing. But not it actually like, would be fun if there was a fun, well, specific one. A, sure. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be. But it has to definitely be embarrassing and mortifying about yourself. And oh, oh shit. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> it just happened. Hold oh. on. Oh. Oh, this is sort so of naked. <laughs> I think Steph touched the uh, stop cam. So sorry. Um, so uh, you guys pick. I mean, we have lots of falls. Yeah. No, 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 no. It can't be. No, it has to be an embarrassing with a beginning, middle, and end, and it's mortifying. Not I once missed a cue and everyone was mad at me. It's got to be really specific and mortifying. Well, Stephanie I J. Block talked about having like full crazy diarrhea on stage. Like, I mean, it's old school. <laughs> Um, embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, I, I mean, that was a really big setup. I don't know if mine's quite that embarrassing. But the dress that you just saw in oh, yeah. it's my second act dress, we would, as we talked about, we would sit down in right. the little table every day and we would play cards, but we would sit down in the scene and for like months on end, months. I would sit down and I was like, oh, there's like something in my dress. And Gavin for months was like, like is there like you're really being like too much of this and i was like there is something in my dress and gavin was like okay like, i'm a queen like there's nothing in the dress so i started to get too embarrassed to say anything because i was like i don't want to like i, I don't want to whatever draw attention to myself so one bully, bully bully well gavin's <laughs> bully we sit down and i literally was like and but i didn't i was trying to play it cool because I didn't want to like make too big of a deal out of it. So I was like, I'm probably crazy. Like I'm crazy. But like for shits and giggles, can you just check the back of my like bloomers? And I literally had blood like that on my tushy. <laughs> and had gone directly into my tushy from my dress that had been there for me. It was this big. It was like sewn in between layers of the dress so we couldn't find oh. it. 
And the costume department used the blood trail to find where it had been sewn in into my dress. And then they made me a plaque that said buns of steel. <laughs> I didn't know that. Wait a minute, Beanie. So like you would be dancing that number and you had that in your... Because it was like that, like it had been made, when the dress was made, a pin was left like in the middle of the two layers of fabric and then that was sewn. So they couldn't find it because they kept looking for it and they couldn't find it, but I could feel it for like months. And then finally it made its way out into my I still, And I still don't feel bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I started to think I'm like a drama queen. I'm so sorry, honey. That did the trick. It's an embarrassing story, but it really actually embarrassed Gavin. So that was perfect, Beanie. <laughs> yeah, also, Thank I you. have a diarrhea adjacent story that is also embarrassing for Beanie. Oh, oh. go Taylor. Um, I, our, our very first um, performance in front of an audience ever, Beanie's Broadway debut, first time an audience was gonna see her. David Hyde Pierce like very sweetly got us all cookies that had like edible gold paint on the top of the cookies. Um, and he, like, he was, yes, he was so thoughtful. He got like gluten-free ones for people who are gluten-free. He got me a vegan cookie. It was so thoughtful. We ate the cookies after our dress, like uh, final dress. We ate the cookies and then slowly but surely everyone started to be like, I don't feel so good. And people started hurling, people in the ensemble were hurling in between the dress rehearsal and the, and the preview. And everyone kind of got it out of their systems. And I was like, yikes, rough. And then we started the show. And in the middle of um, the mo of motherhood, oh, motherhood, that's right. I started to feel the rumblings. And I was like, uh oh. And it's a lot. We were, Gavin and I were in like full couch upholstery, running, hiding under tables, like going in closet, full farce. And I'm feeling it just like rising and rising and rising. And I'm hiding under the table. And I do a full like, <laughs> and a little bit comes out of my lips and I'm like, just swallow it, just swallow it. You only have one more number and then you're done for the act. And so I'm trying so hard and dancing starts and it's coming up harder and harder. And I'm singing my part and I'm like, uh, I can't remember the lyrics, but I was truly in between words like. <laughs> <laughs> and right before Beanie and I start dancing together, it's like a little comedic bit. I realize I don't, I can't hold it anymore. And I just yeah. take off running into the wings yeah. and puke so much, but Beanie doesn't see me. And so she turns around to greet me and I'm not there. And so Beanie had to improvise a dance solo. <laughs> her first ever Broadway performance, she did full dance improv while everyone was partnering around her. She was just like twinkle toes in the middle. <laughs> well, didn't I have you have to all, didn't Bet come over to you, Beanie, too, and said, where's the kid? Yeah, yeah. so the minute is that Bet takes off my glasses and then pushes yeah. me to Taylor. And she turns me around and as she's taking off my glasses, she goes, where's the kid? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and I was like, Nini, this is your Broadway debut. And he's not here. So he Taylor, Taylor, will you tell him really quickly what your first instinct, instinct was when you ran off stage? The very first, and nobody's ever seen the costumes or the umbrellas. You told me, you said you ran, there's a bucket. Oh, the, the, all, all the umbrellas. umbrellas. All the brand new umbrellas that yeah. it ran to the bucket, was about to hurl into the umbrellas. And then- The parasols. Like, yeah, because the ensemble was about to come out and like open all the parasols and just like. <laughs> but so instead I threw up in a trash can and then I was like, I can't do the rest of the show. Um, but my understudy hadn't started rehearsals yet. And so I took one look at him who was like, in watching me grow up. And then Jessica Lee Golden, one of the best dancers in the world, patted my back and ran past me. And I was like, Jessica Lee Golden would go back out there. And so I just like wiped my mouth. And, and then like two seconds later, he was, like, da, 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 da. he was like right back in. Speaking of halitosis, that was me that night. Is there any mouthwash? No, just okay. vomit. Did you, did you tell David what had happened? Like, what oh, did he, he, he felt terrible. I yeah. bet he did. Yeah. He was, yeah, he felt awful. It's like something really- The nicest really person in the world. Yeah. I know. Did you also say that like, wasn't Leslie Flesner in the wings too? And she saw you start to run towards the wings. Yeah, it was just like, ah! yeah. as, the puke, as the puke was like spilling over my bottom lip, she was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why is she so scared? Alien? <laughs> I don't know. But. <laughs> uh, I love that part. I love that part. Just in a beautiful dress. Yeah. Like, not helpful. No. <laughs> just, <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my um, gosh. You guys, 
Those were really good. <laughs> Those were, really yeah. Good. Double, double amazing stories. Double That's bags. right. Double backs. Um, um, Kate, you're amazing double. for organizing. You guys have to come back again. You're such a fun This was group. So, so fun. fun. So fun. Um, Thank you again for all you two have done for the Actress yes. Fund. Everything you continue to do for everybody in the community in times when a lot Thank of us you. did not have any desire to do anything for anyone except cry into our own lives. And you two were like, let's go. Let's do it. From the very beginning, you did it. And, and it's just so admirable and, and still going. So thank you both. And thanks for including us. Oh, yeah, thanks, Gavin, you're very sweet. Thank, thank you, Jack, you. for moderating. Thanks for your new computer, Jack. It's a step up. Yes. And uh, tomorrow with uh, Kristen Chenoweth and her Broadway boot camp. Yes, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, All right. everyone. Thank what are you going to play, Bye, Seth? Everybody. You gotta see, play something from the show, of course. Then what the hell happened? I never played this damn show. I don't know if I know any damn songs from it. Uh, uh, 